Hello everyone and welcome back to Grounded. We are in a situation right now. Uh, I was scouting out a place to put a new base and I started to build one over here on this rock by the pond. And right there in front of that spider is my shelter. I'm up here on this little rock above him. Mistakes were made. I don't quite know what I'm going to do because I can't kill this thing with this little spear. I'm hoping I can kind of lure him over here to the edge and do one of those numbers. Just kind of, you know, jab down at him. That's what I'm hoping to do. But he's just hanging out waiting on me. I can't get to my shelter. I can't sleep. I can't do anything because this damn spider will not go away. I'm trying to get its attention so it'll come running over here to the edge. And my game plan is I'm going to stab it from up top where it can't reach me. The only problem is with this little spear, it's going to take forever to kill this guy. So what I'm actually hoping for is not even to kill it, to be honest with you. I just want it to go away. Look at it. I mean, it's still not even reacting at all. It, it could care less that I'm here. That's crazy. At least we're getting to get a really good look at the spider. I'm going to try maybe just to run up and stab it in the butt and see what happens. If I can get its attention, I can run back and jump back on that rock again. And maybe I can kill it. Or at least piss it off enough until it goes away. Take that! Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Let's get back up here. Yeah, come on over here, buddy. I want to show you something. Come here. Damn, that thing is ugly. Look at the eyes on that thing. Ah, this is a problem. I can't reach it. Oh, man. This didn't work at all. All I did was piss it off. Um... Maybe if I move a little bit down here, maybe? Is that an ant? I gotta try to get to an area of this rock where I can actually reach this thing. I mean, killing it with a spear like this is gonna take forever. But I don't really have a lot of options because I can't... I want to go to my, my little shelter and sleep. That's all I wanted to do. Because I've been working on this shelter over here. I'll show you guys this shelter in a minute that I've been building. I've been building this platform. It's kind of cool. And I was really happy with it. I was really excited to show you. I was like, hey, man, I got this cool new shelter. I'm going to show everybody what I'm building. And it's right here by the pond. It's really pretty here. I got access to all this water. But this is a problem. Because this spider is always here. He wasn't here when I put my, my initial little lean-to up. And then I went and started working on this base over here on this rock. And he came out. What, did you forget about me? Nope, he didn't forget about me. And he came out and he's just been camping on my shelter ever since. I don't exactly know what he wants. I can't even reach him. All right, we gotta come up with a better strategy. I'm, I'm getting ready to be dehydrated anyway. So, the move might be just to let him kill me. Just go down there and take a few shots at him. And I don't know if I'm hitting him in the butt or if I'm hitting the rock. I'm not doing any damage, regardless. So the move might be just to... just to die, because... If I die, my, my hydration and my food meter will reset. So I won't be almost out of water anymore. The problem is, if I die, my backpack will be left right here. Right where he is. The other option is to try to run away, but if I back up from this rock, he's going to figure out that he can climb up here with me. And this is going to be bad. So we have to really try to consider what we're going to do here. Yeah, see, he's kind of moving with me. 
If I could get him close enough over here, I might be able to actually hit him. He still can't reach me. If I could find a spot where I could reach him, that would make this doable. Oh crap, he figured out he can come up here. Alright, chill out. Uh, yeah, I think it's time to just die. Because I'm almost dead anyway. Hell with it. Take a couple shots. Alright, so there's my death. I was ripped apart by an orb weaver. Alright, there he is. There's my bag, too. I'm here at my shelter. That's where I respawn, but... I gotta figure out... Let me show you this shelter real quick while he's messing with my bag. I thought I'd build up on this rock. It's not a whole lot of room up here, but I figured out I can build these platforms. See these things? I can build these out of uh, dandelion weed things. And I figured out how to actually put a door on, which was brilliant. And I figured I'd build this and build walls around it and put a floor on it when I can figure out how to make a floor. And we could have a nice little shelter up above everything where they can't get to us. But the problem is, this spider is here all the time now. And I don't want to have to fight him or deal with him every time I want to come to my shelter. So I'm thinking this area here is not going to work for me. I'm going to have to find a better place. Now, we're not out anything, because I can recycle what I've used there and use it on my new shelter once I pick out a better location. I want some place that's up high where I don't have to deal with these damn spiders all the time. See, I thought if I went to sleep that maybe he would be gone the next morning, but he's not. So the game plan is we're going to try to get our backpack and get the hell out of here. We're going to have to run from him first. Where'd he go? If I can lure him over here away from it, I might be able to circle back around and get it before he realizes that I'm over there. That's my game plan. Whoa! See you later, bud. Alright, so now he's over here at the bank. Let's try to swim around. Alright, I swam around and I climbed back up. But he ran back over to my backpack again. So he's still over there. So I gotta figure out what I can do. I don't have anything that's useful right now. Let's try to put a walls, a couple walls up here. And maybe we can block him. Nope, we're not gonna be able to do that because now he knows we're here. This spider is a pain in the ass. Alright. I'm gonna try to circle around the other side maybe get some air before I drown. Alright. We're gonna circle around. I'm coming up around this other side. Right up there is my shelter. Over to the right over there is my backpack. But I'm thinking I'm going to go up around maybe by that soda can. Go through these... I was going to say the woods, but it's just grass. Through the grass over there and come around the other side and maybe sneak up from my backpack. I think that might be a game plan. So I'll see you when I get around there. Alright, this didn't work at all. I came around the other side and he was right there waiting on me. I got up here in my shelter. And he ran back over there again. So, it's like, that's a spawn point for that spider, apparently. Because he just keeps disappearing, and watch, he'll drop back out of the sky here in a second. I've been sitting here watching him do it. See that? So that's an actual spawn point for that spider. So this location is not going to work at all, because this spider is always going to be here. Every time. So we're going to try to just grab our damn bag and go. And I'll find a better spot. Alright, we got our stuff. Let's get the hell out of here. I'm going to run down this wall over by that picnic table, I think, and see what's over there. I think that's the play. Alright, we're over here by the picnic table now. It was a little bit of a hike, but it wasn't that bad. 
There's a lot of water here. That's a good thing. Right now, the water is broken on the game, so you're not getting dew anymore. So I'm drinking all this dirty-ass water and just trying to out-eat the sickness. So this works, though, because in this area, there's a bunch of little critters that I can kill and eat. And there's a lot of water. And there's all these rocks up here. So we're going to try to find a rock that is up high and doesn't have a, a very easy way for anything to climb up on it. And it's nice and flat. That's our that's our uh, requirements for our shelter area. But I also want it to be some place where there's grass around so that I'll be able to build fairly easily without having to travel very far. And ideally, it'll be some place that I don't have to worry about spiders and and all those other things. Clay, cool. And all those other things trying to kill me all the time. So we're just going to kind of wander around here a little bit and see what we can see. This is looking promising over here. There's a lot of grass right here. And there's a rock... Right over here, past, I'm going to go ahead and cut this down so I have some, some planks for when I'm ready to build. Pick up some of these, bring with me. I'm going to go explore this rock up here. I'm going to go ahead and get an inventory full of these real quick, okay. Let me show you this rock I found. If you go up on this flat rock here, you can climb on this leaf over onto this other rock. Now see the picnic table here? And I was looking at this thinking, this is nice up here. But look over here. There is a rock that leads right up to the to the wall up here. And I'm thinking up on this wall, it might be a very nice place. I'm going to go check it out. And I haven't been up there yet. I want to see if there's any spiders up there or any kind of animals or bugs that are going to try to kill me. We're right here on the edge of the of the under construction area. But this is looking very nice. Look at this wall. We're way up above everything. So I don't think we're going to have to worry about too much trying to kill us up here. Maybe bees or mosquitoes or something like that. But once we get our shelter built and put a roof on it, we won't have to worry about that anymore. So I'm thinking maybe right over here, maybe on this rock, when I'm getting ready to jump on, maybe this will be a really nice place to kind of construct something. It's a nice big flat area. I'm way up above everything. I think this is going to be pretty safe. Because I don't see anything up here that can hurt me. So let's drop off our, our grass here. And let me see, Do I have I have everything I need to make the lean-to, so let's go ahead and get that up. We're going to set up camp right here, and we're going to build our base around this lean-to. I'm going to encircle this entire place in walls, set my respawn point so in case I die, I will come back here. All right, what do we got here? I want to build walls. Where are the walls at? I need to build a roasting spit here, too. That's going to be important. Let me go get the stuff I need to do that. Because I need to be able to cook so that I can have food for when I have to drink the dirty water. That's going to be very important. So we're going to head back down here before we build walls. We're going to try to get the stuff that we're going to need to build that spit so that I can cook up some critters. Can I get down here or do I have to go on that rock? I think I gotta go on that rock. All right, we'll take this rock here. Pretty sure this rock will lead right down very easily. This is how I came up. I jumped from that rock originally, but I think I can get to this from the ground too. So that's gonna be very cool. All right, let's get down here and we pick up what we need. We need to get some rocks and we need to get some sprigs, I believe it was. And then we can build that spit up top. 
So we're just going to pick up all these little pebbles. And we'll pick up some of these sprigs as well. And we might kill something if we see something that we can eat. Yeah, we need a couple more sprigs. I wanted to look on the map and see where I was, too, so I, in case something happens, I know how to get back here. Because I really like this area. This is going to be home. I'm going to build a nice, secure shelter up top. And we're going to build dew collectors and a farm up there and everything. We're going to have a complete setup to where we don't even have to leave that place if we don't want to. We'll be able to produce food up there. We'll be able to produce water up there. We'll have everything that we need for successful survival. And most importantly, we'll be up above. Oh, hello. I'm going to kill this guy and cook him. Hopefully, I'm going to kill him. It's kind of a bad area to be trying to kill him in because all the pieces of grass in the way. Let me grab that. Go to hell with him. I'm tired of chasing him. I have a one little roast anyway that I stole from some ants when I was wandering around. They killed this little thing and, and I just took their meal. So I have something I can cook when I get up there if I need it. And if I see something else, it'll be a little easier to get. I'll get it, but I'm tired of chasing that guy around. Pain in the butt. All right, I'm very thirsty. So we need to find some water that we can drink. So let's go back this way and try to figure out where that water was. I think it should be just around these rocks. It'd be awesome if we had, like, you know, some dew or something to drink, but... There is none of that to be had. Hell, I ain't seen any dew on the grass for four or five times I've played this game since I've seen dew. We've been getting by drinking dirty water and out eating the sickness, and every once in a while we get lucky and we... Oh, there's a spider right underneath that rock. So I just got to be careful and watch... How I go up there. Go over here. I'm trying to figure out where the hell that water was. There was a lot of water I saw. Oh, hey. Are they killing that thing? Yeah, they are. Thank y'all. I stole some more. <laughs> I'm forever stealing their meals. I'm surprised they don't try to kill me. Every time they kill something around me, I steal it. There's that spider again. Let's go up here and cook this stuff, and then we got to get some water. Probably should have got water first. But i got to build this this spit up here and go ahead and cook my food as well. Worst case scenario, I die because I don't have water and then I'll just respawn right here anyway. Let's go ahead and reset the spawn point just in case. Make sure. So now if I die because I don't have water, I, I start right here anyway. So it really doesn't matter if I get water to be honest with you. If I don't get water, I don't have to waste a bunch of food trying to out-eat the sickness. I can just respawn, pick up my backpack, and move on with my life. All right, let's build this guy. Let's go ahead and get these walls set up first, though. That way I know where I want to put the spit at. So I'm going to work on getting these walls all around the base. It's going to take a while because i got to glitch them and all that. So I'll catch back up with you once I get it all put around. All right, so now I've got them all surrounding me. I built a few of them with the, with the planks that were here in the middle. 
And we're going to go ahead and go to sleep. Because it's dark and it is nighttime. Alright, so sleeping, somehow I got some hydration when I slept. That doesn't make any sense, but I'll take it. I never did die. I thought I would die from not having water, but I never died, so... We're all good. I'm going to go back down and probably get some water. And I got to... Oh, I forgot to cook those things up, didn't I? Let me get back up here and do that. I got to build the spit and I got to cook them. Let's see. Forgot all about that. Roasting spit. Let's go ahead and put that here. Put it here in front of the shelter somewhere. Turn it a little bit, though, so it doesn't look so bad. That'll work. All right, let's build this, light it up, and let's go ahead and get our stuff cooking. What happened to all the stuff we had? I had a couple. Oh, they spoiled. Oh, that sucks. They spoiled overnight. Well, that's unfortunate. I probably should have went ahead and made the spit and cooked when I first got up here. That was dumb. Oh, well, we learned a lesson. All right, let's go down here and get some water. Maybe we'll find something else to kill. We'll get some more grass planks and bring back up. There's all kinds of grass over here behind that under construction area. I wonder if I could just go there and steal it. I don't know if I can actually go back there or if it'll stop me. We'll figure that out eventually. I got some planks already here waiting on me. So I'll pick these up. Go ahead and pick a couple more of these while I'm here. Might as well. Grab the pebble. And let's head back up here. Oh, it's over here. There's a little path on this rock. You can just run right up it. But if you don't hit the path, it's like a little narrow area in the middle. If you don't hit that, you're just going to fall. So we'll take these planks back over here, and we'll go ahead and put them in our, in our wall. I'm going to have to build a, a door up here as well. That should be an adventure. When I was putting all this together, I couldn't get a door to glitch in anywhere. So we'll figure that out eventually. Alright, I'm going to make this shovel. I, I gathered everything I needed. Because I want to go get that clay and see what it can do. So the game plan is I'm going to find the clay again. I'm going to dig it up with this shovel. And I'm going to take it over to one of my little laboratory areas over there by where our original base was and I'm going to analyze it and see what I can make with it. But I got to remember where I saw it. I don't quite remember where it was. It was down here somewhere in the water is where I found the clay. But during that time I was running all through all of this trying to find a good spot so I don't quite remember where I was, but I gotta get some more water. That's for sure. Oh, I messed up. Let me go back out of here. I got a drink. Alright, let's get some water in us. Alright, now we gotta eat. Because it's taking our food level way down. And we didn't have a whole lot of that in there in the beginning anyway. I mean, this is a good strategy, I guess, until they fix the, the dew so it works again. Oh, here's some, here's some clay right there. That'll work. It's kind of like a rock. It isn't really clay. All right, I'll take it. Whatever. That works. Let's grab all of this. Is there any more? All right, so now we're going to head over that direction and try to figure out where that 
laboratory place was. I know there's one in the tree, that big lab, but I don't want to go to that. I want to go to one of these little ones over, over down here. Yeah, right down in here is where it is. Okay. So I got to turn to the right. It's over this direction. All right, we are here at the laboratory. We're going to analyze this clay and see what we can make with it. Armor dummy and weapon wall mount. So absolutely nothing that I actually want to make. So this was a wasted trip. I guess it wasn't in a way because we got knowledge for it or science points or whatever that is, raw science. And we did analyze it, so that's one more thing done, but I don't want to make either one of those things. So let's, since we're here, let's grab all these mushrooms because we have to eat constantly in order to stay alive because every time we drink, it drains our food level down. So we'll collect all these mushrooms, we'll go back to our original shelter, and we will get in the storage box there and see what I put away in that and bring some of it back to our other base. i got to find a little puddle somewhere to drink out of, too. Gather all these while I'm here. We're going to be building a little farm for mushrooms up at our our permanent shelter up on that big rock. I just have to gather all the ingredients I need for it. I haven't even looked to see what I need yet. This is, this but that's on the agenda. We'll get that going so we'll have a constant supply of food. We're doing pretty good. We got 40 of those left now. We're going to have to eat a couple more. but We got 39 mushrooms. And we can always kill little insects to eat too. Did we just make a circle? I think I just went in a circle. Over here is where our original... I'll kill this guy. I need him. Got it. We'll cook him up. Our original base is over here on top of that rock. Right over here. So I'm going to go up and check out the storage chest. I can't get up this way. i got to go around. I was going to build stairs to get up here, but there's really no point because I'm going to be getting rid of all of this stuff. So let's go ahead and put this guy on the cook before he spoils. I'm not making that mistake again. He's so cute on there. All right, let's see what we got in here. We got some sap. Uh, acorn top that we definitely want to get some of those because we're going to build a storage chest over there at the other place so we want our acorn tops and our shells why won't it let me take them i'm confused acorn bits i think that's food i think we can eat that so i might end up taking that with me as well might fuzz slime mold stalk I don't even know what most of this stuff is used for. Plant fiber I can get anywhere. Why am I on... See, this doesn't make any sense. That says plant fiber, but I was on the, the gnat fuzz. I don't understand why it was showing the plant fiber. It won't let me take anything out of the box. I don't know why. Maybe it's glitched right now. I have no idea. So we're just going to forget about that for now. And we're just going to head back this direction. And make our way back over to our other base and keep working on building it up. Go ahead and drink, I think, now that I have that thing. Looky, looky, looky. I'm going to start killing all the weevils I can find and all of those other things so that I have plenty of, 
of food. I'm going to grab these mushrooms, too, while I'm here. And then I'm going to probably get... Oh, there's another one on this side. Probably go ahead and drink. Because I have that one I can go ahead and eat. All right, I got to eat this roast that I made. That'll fill me back up. And that'll be about it for this episode. I will catch up with you on the next one. Thank you for watching and all the support. Until I speak to you again, love many, trust few, and do harm to none. God loves you, and so do I. Bye-bye.